A decade ago, Cleveland Metro Parks began a significant transition when Brian Zimmerman was sworn in as the park's CEO in March of 2010. As only the sixth in the park's history, Zimmerman was tasked with carrying forward the nearly 100-year-old vision of the Emerald Necklace, as well as meeting new demands of a park system in the 21st century. The first few years under Brian's leadership began what would be a decade of strategic acquisitions to not only protect natural resources across Northeast Ohio, but also connect communities through green space. The legacy of golf and the Emerald Necklace would continue to grow with the acquisition of Seneca Golf Course in 2011. But in 2012, the strategic acquisition of a former country club in Lyndhurst became the Park District's 17th reservation and significant restoration allowed nature to prosper again. A transformation also was underway at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. The opening of African Elephant Crossing was the first in a series of world-class animal habitats to solidify the zoo as a nationally recognized leader in animal care and conservation. In June 2013, Cleveland Metro Parks acquired six lakefront parks in a historic agreement with the City of Cleveland and the State of Ohio. It was the culmination of years of hard work and a century-old vision to transform Cleveland's lakefront into a regional destination. The following year, Wendy Park and Whiskey Island also became part of the Park District's 18th reservation, the Lakefront Reservation. In an effort to program the lakefront into a safe and welcome place for the community, Cleveland Metro Parks began hosting concerts on the beach in 2014. The Edgewater Live and Euclid Beach Live concert series quickly became a summer staple in Cleveland. Music had been a successful avenue for connecting people with nature in Cleveland Metro Parks for decades, as would be their next venture of expanding dining opportunities across the Emerald Necklace. Elsewhere in the Park District, Cleveland Metro Parks would add 10 miles of mountain bike trails, helping to meet demand for a growing sport. The Park District would also open its first facility dedicated to scientific research and sustainable action in partnership with the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District, City of Parma, and West Creek Conservancy. The facility marked a new level of focus on education and conservation to protect the natural resources in the region. Two thousand fifteen and two thousand sixteen would bring several new enhancements to Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, including the Ben Gogolik Giraffe Encounter, Rosebro Tiger Passage, and First Class Event Center Stillwater Place. New amenities continue to transform the park reservations as well. Park founder William Stinchcomb had a vision for an interconnected ring of parks circling Cleveland. In 2015 and 2016, Zimmerman would take innovative action towards achieving that. The launch of the LC2 water taxi connecting the east and west bank of the flats would be the beginning of a bold strategy to improve transportation in downtown Cleveland. In 2016, Cleveland Metro Parks would receive its largest ever federal grant to reconnect Cleveland with a series of paved, multi-purpose trails and a signature bridge to the lakefront. Cleveland Metro Parks also brought a championship to the city, winning the prestigious 2016 National Gold Medal Award for Excellence in Park and Recreation Management. The Best in the Nation Award solidified Cleveland Metro Parks as one of the top park districts in the country. When I think back to, to my tenure, um, this is really one of those remarkable achievements that's not celebrated by one, it's celebrated by all. Cleveland Metro Parks marked its 100th anniversary in 2017 with a year-long celebration that brought record visitation of more than 18.5 million across the park system. People are going to really rediscover our lakefront and to me that's uh, kind of the remarkable thing and the transformation that's happened. I think they're going to be really impressed with what we've been able to do.
A centennial celebration at Edgewater Park in partnership with Key Bank commemorated a century of stewardship in grand fashion. A historic transition at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo also occurred in 2017 when the Securing a Future for Wildlife campaign launched to bring the zoo's wildlife conservation efforts to the forefront. <music> 2017 marked a century of progress at Cleveland Metro Parks by building on three core organizational pillars that have anchored the park's mission. Conservation, education, and recreation. It was a record-breaking year, but the groundwork for the next century had already begun. As Cleveland Metro Park's second century of stewardship began, the goals and initiatives led by Zimmerman were deeply rooted in the park's history. Under Zimmerman, the Park District expanded access to nature education with the opening of the Trailside Program Center in Brecksville and Rocky River Nature Preschool. Providing green space for all communities across Cuyahoga and Hinckley Township remained a priority. A new zoo destination opened, providing dramatic habitats for some of the world's most endangered animals. The zoo also set an international attendance record with the all-new Asian Lantern Festival and created a new holiday tradition with wild winter lights. Euclid Creek Reservation's lakefront revitalization completed another phase with the construction of the new Euclid Beach Pier. The new pier followed a series of improvements to the east side lakefront parks over just a few years, including the creation of a dedicated swim area, a new pedestrian bridge, and improvements to Wildwood concessions and marina. At the closing of the decade, the park district was hard at work breaking ground on five miles of trails and a signature bridge to connect downtown Cleveland neighborhoods to the lakefront. Over 10 years, the Park District has constructed more than 40 miles of trails to connect communities to school, work, and play. The Park District has added more than 2,500 acres, including two new reservations that now directly serve 48 communities and connect with many more. The strategic acquisition of parkland protects forests, streams, and native plants and animals for future generations. And more than 30,000 trees planted over the last several years have just begun to grow. Cleveland Metro Parks has served more than 5.3 million people in 66,000 education programs. From hikes to kayak races to early childhood education, the Park District has worked to enrich people's lives through nature. More than three million golf rounds were played across the park's eight golf courses. Nearly 50,000 dedicated volunteers contributed more than one million volunteer hours over the past decade to help inform guests, keep our parks clean, and contribute to science and research efforts. More than $35 million has been invested in creating more dynamic habitats at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, including Rosebro Tiger Passage, Asian Highlands, and more. Through the significant support of partners, donors, and local, state, and federal grants, the Park District has invested $189 million in land acquisition and capital projects over the past decade. Park visitation has increased more than 10% as more guests, both local and out-of-town visitors, are coming to explore the parks, connect with nature, and get outdoors. A 
A study by the Trust for Public Land revealed that Cleveland Metro Parks generates $873 million for the region's economy by improving the environment, providing recreational opportunities, contributing to the transportation network, and more. Over the past decade, Cleveland Metro Parks has provided more than 100 million recreational visits and has served as both a national leader in parks and recreation and regional asset for the communities it serves. In the coming years, the Park District is poised to continue its legacy by protecting and restoring parkland, connecting people and communities, and creating a place for individuals to escape, make memories, and explore. <laughs>